This is Planet Pulse for Saturday, April 9th. The moon shifts from Gemini to Cancer this evening. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. Most of the day, however, is the moon in Gemini. Gemini. Jumping, jittery Gemini. But, you know... Sometimes when the moon is in a sign, the planet that relates to that sign is what's important. With the moon in Gemini, Mercury, which is Gemini's planet, is the, is the planet of action or the planet that's, that's associated with that moon. And today, Mercury is lined up retrograde between the Earth and the sun, which really focuses our need to communicate. Well, it does focus on our need to communicate, but one of the challenges is that we may be overly subjective. First of all, Mercury went retrograde or moved backwards on the 28th of March. It'll continue its backwards motion until, uh, I think, the 23rd 23rd. of April, and that's often a period of time when communication gets mixed up. Retrograde Mercury's union with the sun of will can empower the mind and clarify things with communication. However, Rick, I think the perspective is so personal that translating our own ideas into terms that others understand may be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I think that's a good point. It's interesting because Mercury is one of those planets that when it lines up with the sun, can line up between us and the sun or on the far side of the sun. And there's a name for that. An inferior conjunction when it's between us and the sun and a superior conjunction when it's on the far side of the sun. So this, because Mercury is retrograde, it's close to Earth, means that it's an inferior conjunction. And I think you're right, Jeff, what that really means is that although we have the will, the sun to communicate, the, the, our communication is held between us and objectivity, the sun. There's a sense of holding the communication in, and I think that that's brought home doubly later in the day when the moon moves into Cancer, which is a subjective sign also. Absolutely. We also have Pluto, the lord in the underworld, going retrograde or going inward today as well. So I think maybe the critical issue is this. It's not about what we say. It's about what we're willing and able to see in ourselves. The depth of perception available to us is very high, I think, or great. The question of how we get that across or not may be the issue. I'm Jeff Jower. And for Planet Pulse, where you can check to see the pulse of the planets every day, I'm Rick Levine.